Welcome to Style with Trish. Today I am sharing with you my very own nail artist, Donisha Payne of Badass Nails. Stay tuned. Every day a woman with Trish today I am sharing someone who I really treasure so don't y'all book her up okay <laughs> but for real I have none other than my own personal nail artist Donisha Payne from Badass Nails <laughs> welcome hello. to Style with Trish hello thank you for having me <laughs> thank you so much I wanted to have you on you know we've been talking for a while I wanted to have you on um because uh, not just the immaculate job that you do on nails, but also your business sense. Yes. And for you to be so young, <laughs> this girl got a business mind. <laughs> but how? Uh, let's start from the beginning. Why did you decide to go into the area of, of nails? Um, so I've always been interested in getting my nails done. I always have been getting my nails done as a teenager, you know, mm -hmm. back and forth in school. Um, but at a point when I was working in Walmart, I just... I was a CSM, customer service manager. I used to always get my nails done in the mm -hmm. front. Mm -hmm. And I just got tired of them messing me up. And mm. I was just like, okay, so let me just go to school for this. And mm -hmm. I had a homegirl that was a cosmetologist. And she was like, you should just go to school. And I was like enrolled in school within mm -hmm. like the next month. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> and then I didn't know, you actually had to tell me this, because back in my day, um, you could not do nails unless you... Uh, got your cosmet the full cosmetology certification, but now that's different, right? Well, I don't think you ever had to have the full cosmetology service um, mm -hmm. license, but there's always been like a bright a branch off, like okay. nail technician, or you could just do barber and oh. not do the whole thing. Yeah, so it's always just a shorter amount of hours or time mm -hmm. that you have to go to school. Okay, mm -hmm. and so now we've seen a huge rise in uh, nails are extra, lashes are extra yes. right now. Everybody's doing it. And we um, you've taught me so much, really, first of all, about the industry and the way that I um, found you mm -hmm. was I had made a decision. I want to say I can't remember what was going on in the world at that time. It was just be was just before. Uh, no, it was just after 2020 uh, with COVID. Right. COVID. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was post COVID. Mm -hmm. And I don't even really remember where I was in my head. But I said, you know what? for it was black history month mm -hmm. i said for this month i want to patronize my community yes. and so i said it's gotta be we appreciate you <laughs> i just i just said i gotta i gotta support my community and mm -hmm. so i did a simple google search because i was like you know there's gotta be nail artists black owned nail artist businesses yes. out here and i googled in my area mm -hmm. and i googled and your name came up second yes the first one i went to the one that came up first I had a bad experience mm. and I said, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go and I'm going to go to number two. Yes. And, it, and I think it was just because that location was closer to me, mm. um, uh, mile wise. Yes. And so I went, I found you, I booked mm -hmm. and just fell in love. Um, so you are located in Conyers, Georgia. Tell us yeah. about, Downtown uh, Downtown Lithonia. It's Lord almost have right there, right. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right downtown there. Downtown Lithonia. Yes, downtown Lithonia. Um, and how long have you been at that location? And what was it like starting your own? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I've been at the location going on four years now. Um, mm -hmm. Before I had this specific location suite salon, mm -hmm. which is, you know, more so of a storefront, I've always mm -hmm. been back and forth in suites. Okay. And I also worked at a couple um, Asian salons. And... Basically, after school, you will want to start off at an Asian salon to try to mm. learn and get to know how they do things and, you know, mm -hmm. try to cut some corners or just learn how the whole thing goes. Because initially, mm -hmm. that is what they have down okay. packed. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I did start off working at those shops and then I worked at salon suites and then I just moved and I was like, I want my own space. Because mm -hmm. a lot of um, when you go to salon suites, they may complain about the smell or 
sometimes people just be haters and they don't <laughs> want you to excel. So I'm like, let me get my own space so ain't nobody clocking me. Yeah. So yeah, that's how I got to my own space. Basically, basically, I had a suite up the street from there mm -hmm. and um, I was getting some food and I seen it. It was for lease. Mm -hmm. I called the number. I was and like, that's how you got that. Yeah. And it doesn't even really feel like it's a suite because it feels like its own standalone. Like, yeah. a, like you said, it's like almost like a storefront. Yeah, because it has a storefront, but it's just a small space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's not really, really, really that small. She's saying it. It's, but not, it's not that really small, small, but yeah. <laughs> um, but I love um, the whole environment of downtown Lithonia. Um, mm -hmm. It's a lot of small businesses that really yes. support one another. Mm -hmm. um, there's the Green Kitchen, I believe. Yes, Green Left Kitchen, yes. Green a lot Left. of black owned yes. entrepreneurs, yes. A lot downtown Lithonia. Like the whole strip is pretty much barbershops. Mm -hmm. um, they got the gaming experience. They got um, a lot of African tradition and spiritual stores. They got mm -hmm. so much that's we take it over. Yeah, yeah. And I love, I love, I love <laughs> yes. that environment and it's only a blink and you're out of downtown mm -hmm. like Sonya. It. But so it's a lot packed mm -hmm. in into that one space. Mm -hmm. So, um, I always ask and my And they're guests, doing a lot of development around there good. Now, lately. Yeah. We need it. Yes, we need it sure. in that area. Yes, yes. Um, I always ask my guest, how did you come up with your name? <laughs> Which I know how you came up with badass cause that's what you, that's what you are in the nails. Period. Um, but what made you pick that name? <laughs> um, so in high school, I love the rapper Lil Boosie. Okay. So in high school, um, my homeboy, my homeboy started calling me badass, <laughs> and I just took that and ran with it. Everything badass, everything badass. So it was badass nails, badass. Everybody just called me badass. <laughs> like some people don't call me Nisha, some people call me badass. Oh, okay. Yep. Because I love Boosie. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's and and it's also signifies your work. Yes. Um, for sure. Because the thing that. Another thing that I like about you is um, your entrepreneurship. We'll get on your your uh, amazing ability mm -hmm. here in a second. But you don't just do nails um, as far as, okay, you have that mindset, I'm just doing nails. Yeah. You have the mindset, I'm an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. I'm a businesswoman, mm -hmm. and you offer. You have all kinds of things that you offer. Yes. We're going to talk about that here in a second. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get to the place where you're, it's important for you to market yourself. It's important for you to have a brand mm -hmm. and all of that. How did you get to that? Um, honestly, I think one thing leads to another. It's just, you don't stop. You just keep branding. One thing leads to another. You go from press ons to, okay, they need a soak off kit. Then mm -hmm. they need a, they need something to do their feet. A lot of my kits came from, um, COVID honestly. So oh, okay. press ons went crazy during COVID mm -hmm. pedicure kits. I was like, can't nobody do their feet. Anybody want to get, um, get their feet done. Mm -hmm. So let me make them a kit. I can break everything down in bulk, mm -hmm. let them have a kit at home mm -hmm. so they can make those kits, soak off kits, everything. So a lot of stuff started from COVID, honestly. Mm -hmm. And then one thing just goes from another. Just You just keep building, keep branding, brainstorming, trusting, manifesting, believing mm -hmm. in God and just... Mm -hmm. Cause It'll I just call all you. Work out. I'm gonna call you the pivot queen because you know how to pivot Listen, <laughs> in business. <laughs> it's a lot, but um, I don't think people look at it like, how you saying it? Like, it's a lot to manage. Like yeah. you got to manage the business. You got to manage the inventory. You got to manage the accounting. You got to mm -hmm. manage the taxes. You got to manage the overhead over mm -hmm. the salon. I have to manage my own life. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. But I think, um, I think we all have passions and we all, once, once you, once you there, it'll just all flow. Mm -hmm. And was it, was it, um, how was it the f transitioning from working for someone or working under the, the, um, I guess they're Vietnamese yeah. salons and transitioning mm -hmm. into your own. What was that? Was it scary? What was it? What was the most fearful part of that for you? Um, yes, of course, it's going to be scary because you when you're in the salon, you know, you depend mostly on walk ins. Mm -hmm. So everything is pretty much coming in. That's why it's a fast pace. It's in and out. Mm -hmm. um, but when you step out on your own, you have your own space. You have to. I depend on a booking site. I depend mm -hmm. on my own marketing. I depend on me wearing my clothes mm -hmm. with my name on it. You know, I depend on word of mouth. I depend on a lot of things that you don't have to depend on in a nail salon, mm -hmm. which is why um, I think we hold more of a standard to just being firm in our ground. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just I hold a high standard in customer service. Mm -hmm. I hold a high service in products, everything, because I know what they don't supply. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I know how to set myself uh, aside from them. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that's the main thing. Just. Mm -hmm. Having that easy walk in money, you don't have to depend on nobody, you know, the retention rate of people mm -hmm. coming back because mm -hmm. typically 
people are just gonna come in and out all the time. Mm-hmm. So you're not worried about that. They're not worried about word of mouth. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, just building from basically word of mouth. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. yeah. Well, I I think you're doing an awesome job. We're going to take a really quick break. When we come back, we're going to have more with Nisha Payne. We'll be right back. Welcome to Trisha's Treasures. This is where I share some of my favorite beloved products that I use on myself with you. Another one of my treasures is I have a very good friend, uh, Kevra Moore, who is also a singer, author, and she has lippies now. This is one of my favorite colors because some days I like to go out and just have like a natural look. And, and this is her Tropical Storm collection. This particular color is called Cocoa Thunder. And she also has clear, I have the clear one that actually has the little, um, flowers and all that floating in it. It's a very delicate fab, as you see the lid, fab collection. So make sure you check her out. This is black owned. It is the Tropical Storms collection and it is a Trish treasure. Have you ever thought about having your own talk show? Well, you don't have to question yourself any further. From concept to completion, Mark Squared Studios can easily take you through a traditional three-step process for any video production. Whether it's a small business commercial, talk show, cooking show, or even a web miniseries. Contact us today and we'll help you unbox your creativity. We're back here on Style with Trish with my guest today, none other than Nisha Payne, the creator and CEO of Badass Nails. <laughs> um, we're continuing our conversation before the break. Uh, you were just kind of sharing um, some of the ins and out, the differences of working mm-hmm. in a an a quote unquote established um, Asian nail salon with going out on your own and venturing mm-hmm. out on your own. And we know it's an abundance of nail salons and, and nail artists. Uh, out here, what are some of the, um, just, just on the, I want to say the sanitary mm-hmm. infection uh, control. Yeah. Infection yeah. controls. Mm-hmm. What are some things that we should look for when we are, um, in a nail salon or seeking out a nail artist? Okay, cool. Um, so number one would be the, on your pedicures, you know, the cheese grater, mm-hmm. the scale. Um, those are actually illegal mm-hmm. in many States. Um, you're not supposed to scrape your feet with at the bottom of your sole with those, um, mm-hmm. buffers, mm-hmm. files, a lot of things are single, single use. Mm-hmm. Um, only thing that are really multi-use are like our metal implements, mm-hmm. like our cuticle nippers, our clippers. Even those need to be clean, washed, disinfected, sanitized mm-hmm. be- each between each client. Um, I think more so going to them, like the pedicure jets, they not cleaning out the um, tubs mm. and the jets. The It's a lot you could take out, detach those things and really like clean them. And you're supposed to soak it between each client, disinfectant. Clorox, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed mm-hmm. to do all of that and there's no way that they're doing that. Yeah. So I think that's one of the main things with us. We take time between each client having appointments, mm-hmm. not worried about the next person walking in mm-hmm. so to take time to make sure that we clean and sanitize between each client. And wiping the desk off, wiping the chair, you yes, know, before me, yeah. I'm spraying everything. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> everything. spray everything mm-hmm. and you make everybody wash their hands. Every it? time. Every time. Mm-hmm. Go and wash your hands. Yep. And, and I do too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you do too. Mm-hmm. And, and the thing that you mentioned about the the tubs that we soak our feet yep. in it's it's crazy because I've had instances where I went to the the larger Asian mm-hmm. salons and I started experiencing where my I'm funny about my feet mm-hmm. um <laughs> so one of my toes started turning a different mm-hmm. color and I was like oh I don't like that so I stopped going but then when you mentioned the most sanitary way that they're mm-hmm. supposed to pull that stuff out mm-hmm. in between clients mm-hmm. We've all been to nail salons, guys. We know that they are not doing that in between each client. (laughs) Um, So that's 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 a question. Um, Speaking of the um, the greenie, Mm -hmm. it's typically called the greenie. It's not a fungus. It's a greenie. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's typically caused from um, water being trapped. 
Mm. So maybe did you have acrylic on your toes? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Hmm. And my toe was turning black. It wasn't it was turning, turning green. Black. But expound on the 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 greenies. The green. So yeah. basically, it's from if your nails are lifting or if you have cracks or anything that could allow moisture and water to get underneath your nails. It will. And if you seal it back with glue and don't make mm. sure it's one hundred percent dry, like dry it out with acetone. If you do have to glue it down real quick, just to the next day before your appointment. You know what okay. I'm saying? So make sure it's one hundred percent dry alcohol make sure it's dehydrated basically that's the term for it okay. and then glue it back down rather than you gluing it and it's water or something trapped under there then next time you look under there then it will be a greenie because it's like water is moisture mm -hmm. it's soggy so how do you so that's not an infection you said it's it's a they say it's not like a um not like a disease or right, nothing right, like that it's right. like supposedly like a little fungus but okay. it's not like major fungus okay basically you just have to wait till it grows out we have a, um i have a cream that i would apply to it and mm -hmm. you just let it grow out oh, okay yeah okay. that was gonna it be my next nothing, question yep you just gotta let it grow out from the nail plate okay mm -hmm. and i was thinking that it was probably a product that they were using because as soon as i stopped going the nail went back to normal hmm. so i don't know i won't say that it was or maybe it was they were cutting my it, too low i don't know what it so was so a lot of the ch chop shops as we would call it they use a um a medical grade of the purple liquid you mm -hmm. know how we use the powder and we have liquid mm -hmm. so the purple liquid is always something you want to watch for too because professionals like the we were we are supposed to use ema mm -hmm. but they use mma okay yeah so and it's like a dental if i'm not mistaken it's a dental the dentist use it and put it in cavities and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's really hard and it'll uh, make your nails harsh mm -hmm. and break, crack, cause discoloration. Usually it's more yellow for that though. Okay. Not green. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so those that's one sanitary thing. You also you like I said, you teach me so much about mm -hmm. the salons. One of the things that you told me that really made my jaw drop is that there are a lot of and probably in a lot of other beauty industries, there are a lot of people who are not licensed oh, yeah, to do sure. nails, even yes. in these major oh yeah, multi mm -hmm. huge nail salons. Mm -hmm. Break that down for me, please. Yes. Okay, so basically, um, a lot of the Asians they just don't go get licensed. And I'm not gonna just say a lot of the Asians, because a lot of us do it now. We're at home doing it. We just mm -hmm. don't have time to go to school. And I understand everybody got money to make at a certain time, but I do say for infection control and disease and just making sure you got your paperwork together. Cause as soon as you cut somebody or as soon as you do something wrong, trust they're going to be on you. So mm -hmm. it's like, just make sure you got your certification and just going to school. It just makes you feel more secure about your business and everything. Like you can't tell me nothing about nails. Mm -hmm. Like even mm -hmm. though I've been doing it now almost eight years, I just feel like you be more secure within what you're doing when you know. Can't nobody question you too mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, I'm sorry. And one of the other things that you shared was that the reason why and the, the way you can tell a salon doesn't have as many mm -hmm. licensed versus unlicensed. It's typically it's, like Monday through Thursday mm -hmm. during the weekdays. They'll have all the licensed people and then state board don't work Friday through for, well over the weekend. So. That's when the shop is packed <laughs> with people. So <laughs> yeah. when you come in during the week, you know, there's uh -huh. only three or four nail Typically technicians, your managers or whoever that right. went to school. Right. Yeah. But after that, on the weekends, yeah, they let everybody work. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that blew my mind. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but that and blew my mind. Typically, those are 40, 60. I think you ask, like, what's the difference between? So I make all my money, but I got the overhead. You know okay. what I'm saying? But with them, you can use their products and it's 40, 60. So oh. I take 40 home and they get 60. Typically. Wow. Typically, that's how it works. Okay. They rarely want to do 50 50. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a really quick break. We got time just going so fast because I have so much I still want to talk to you about. But we're going to take a really quick break and we'll be back with Denisha Payne. We'll be back. Hi, guys. It's Dr. Cassandra Parks Evans, affectionately known as Dr. San. And this is your segment of Let's Learn Love. Hi guys, it's Dr. San here again with the second part of our series on keeping intimacy alive for couples. And Trish? Yes, we are continuing our series. Our second bullet point is lubrication. Yes, lubrication is very important when it comes to a sexual 
anything, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure that we're properly lubricated, especially as women, as we get older. Um, sometimes we lose that mm -hmm. and, you know, we want to make sure that we're using the right products with mm -hmm. that as well. Um, my favorite is anything that is water based mm -hmm. because, you know, it is non-staining. Mm -hmm. um, it's very flowing and it has a good feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, you, we want to make sure of the ingredients in there, however, though, because they can give women yeast infections. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make sure that it doesn't have any glycerin in it, which is uh, a sugar, basically, and it will throw off your pH mm. in your vaginal cavity. Um, one other thing that we want to think about is what are we actually using it for? What type of intimacy that we're doing? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we may need to use some Something like a silicone base mm -hmm. um, depending on what we're doing but we want to make sure that it's compatible if we're using toys if we're okay. using any sort of toys to for enhancement we want to stick to the water base so that the the individual toy doesn't decompose if you have any questions or comments about this segment of Let's Learn Love feel free to contact us so we can get those answers for you. And until then, this is Dr. Sam with your Let's Learn Love segment. Every day a woman We're back with my favorite nail artist, Donisha Payne of Badass Nails. Um, you, another thing I love about you is that you um, provide products and you touched on this a little bit earlier because you said yes. during COVID mm -hmm. you were creating the um, kits and all of that. And it's so funny. I was telling uh, my crew before you got here, I, they can vouch for this. I've been mm -hmm. don't let my feet be ashy when <laughs> Nisha come up in here because <laughs> she don't play. But I love the fact that because I, I like to walk barefoot mm -hmm. probably too much. I'm like, when I first met her, I'm like, why do you walk barefoot? <laughs> and she was like, does this hurt? Because yeah. I have so much skin um, built up on my feet. But um, head. What is it called? I said head. Yeah, yeah. I said half. Oh, okay. Had, yes. Perfect <laughs> word. But I got it. I purchased your kit and you have you break down the instructions mm -hmm. and start with one, mm -hmm. end up with six, very easy to use. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be an issue because I've never like really doing my own feet, but I didn't have to worry about the nails and all right. that. I just did the scrubbing, but perfect, perfect product for me. Um, share some of the other, um, packages or, or baskets. And these are gift, wonderful gift yes, ideas they are. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you, as you mentioned, the pretty perfect pedicure deluxe kit, mm -hmm. um, is an at home kit, basically up to 15, if I'm not mistaken, up to 15 pedicures you could do at home. Wow. Um, yep. That's how many, how much solution and everything I calculated mm -hmm. should be in there. So it comes with the extreme extreme removal of callus removal so yes. and i also sell a, cal a callus <laughs> removal kit that's just a callus and corn removal kit um mm -hmm. it comes with the solution it comes with the pumice stone mm -hmm. um gloves obviously because that solution yeah. is very strong it's an acid so it really breaks down the skin mm -hmm. and that's actually what you're supposed to use instead of this um cheese grater yeah. the metal blade mm -hmm. so I always tell people, um, this is sidetracked, but as far as the metal blade, I always say like ladies, um, it's like comparing, comparing waxing to shaving. Mm. So you know how waxing is more, it take it off and it be mm -hmm. gone for a way longer time mm -hmm. compared to shaving. Right. Okay. So it's like that solution is compared to those blades. The graders. Mm -hmm. Um, I also sell press ons. Most of my press ons come from custom orders, okay. like birthdays or mm -hmm. I'll make them certain times like holidays or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, also make a cuticle oil that smells great. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I drop different scents like during different holidays or just different times during the year. It might be more scentsy or it might be more fall sweet, um, scent mm -hmm. or more fall scent, mm -hmm. just different smells. I've had peppermint for Christmas. Um, I've had made body scrubs and stuff like that. I think mm -hmm. I gave y'all those mm -hmm. for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I just dibble and dab in a little bit of everything. You do. Her, I yeah. mean, I'm saying like your mind, <laughs> the way your mind just thinks and yeah. and you don't want for anything um, as far as with, with your kits. Mm -mm. And, and uh, the nail kit. So um, yeah. students that want to learn how to do nails, yes. I formulate a big kit and it 
puts everything together so you ain't got to be ordering stuff off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you also teach classes. Yes. You do. Yep. Um, not It's not internships. What is it? It's an apprenticeship. apprenticeship. So from six to eight months, you can become a licensed nail technician. Mm -hmm. um, working under me now because I'm a master nail technician. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, instead of going to school, you could just come work in my shop and, you know, get your license that way. Yeah. We do do still do book work and we mm -hmm. still do... Um, you still can serve as clients, but it's still book work and it's still mm -hmm. I have to prepare you for state board and all that fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a it's a great opportunity if that's the, the industry that you're looking mm -hmm. to go into. You provide that support. Um, and where would you like to see yourself? Um, have you reached the the epitome of where burnt you want to be? <laughs> you said burnt out. The epitome of where you want badass to be, or mm -hmm. is there more to come with badass? Um, as far as doing nails, I think it's so like repetitive now. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh man. I think I'm gonna get more into the teaching side of it. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if I ever told you my little what I want to do mm. school. I want to tell me. Yeah, of course. So I would like to open a nail technology school. So mm -hmm. that's where I'm gonna go with it. Um. I don't know a lot of people that's doing it. A lot of people open nail salons, but mm -hmm. I just want to make it so our people now are, you know, our color mm -hmm. going more so to school for nails. Just have it so we could teach us because I know at my school I still had Asian teachers mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So we teach our we teach yes. us. Yeah. Each and, one teach one. And so, some of your styles, we're going to be um, showing, you know, some of the various mm -hmm. styles and designs yes. that you do. Pretty much everything you guys see, my nails on my nails here on the show. Y'all yes. love, know I love the hand model. <laughs> um, this is the artist behind it. We have a lot more to come. Yes. <laughs> um, but if you had to say there was a um, anything that you would say that if you had to do it over when it comes to business, what would that be? Mm. If there any, it could be. I not probably would have went to cosmetology school mm. instead of just the branch of nail technician. Okay. Because now everything is just going. Everything is. I could do. You could do hair. You could mm -hmm. do nails. You could do a lot of stuff for cosmetology. Whereas mm -hmm. I'm only sub to. You know, I can only do nails. Mm -hmm. So. I would probably just went to cosmetology school, even though it's longer hours. Though. Yeah. 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 I it's it's a lot more. In, school, yeah. But thank you for hanging out yeah, with me. Thank finally. You for me. <laughs> We've yes. been trying to make this happen for a minute. I'm so grateful. Yeah. I'm so glad Honor. you came and hung out with me. Now, yes. listen, y'all, I'm sharing her with y'all. So please don't fill up her book. <laughs> Book me up, but I'm going to squeeze her in. Okay, okay. okay that okay. worked. That worked. Right. Yeah, so go ahead and book her up. <laughs> okay. She'll squeeze me in. She's getting in. Period. <laughs> but thank you so much for hanging out with me. Yes. And you guys, make sure you go. She has a huge, she's doing a lot on Instagram. So go and connect with her yes. on Instagram and see all her designs and, and yes. all her magnificent work. Yes. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Trish Stanley, and I'm the host of Style with Trish. Be sure to check our show out on every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our new network, VTV Network. All you have to do is download the free app, and you can view our show on Amazon Prime, Roku, Apple TV, as well as Android. Be sure to check out all things Trish at TrishStanley.com. Remember, this is the place where the everyday woman reigns. Every day a woman reigns. I'd like to thank my guest today, Donisha Payne of Badass Nails. Make sure you connect with her on Instagram. She is worth seeing and following. Even if you're not in the Atlanta area, still go on and follow her and allow her to inspire you as an entrepreneur. One thing that I really enjoyed about uh, Donisha and how she runs her business is that she is the pivot queen. She understands and knows when it's time to make a different move and go into a different direction concerning her business. And I love that. So please, by all means, go and follow her and watch her journey and allow her to inspire you. As I always say, thank you for tuning in. And remember that love isn't love unless you give it away.